And we are heading down the home stretch on this expanded edition of Newsmax Prime. And we're welcoming your calls, as always, at 1 877 Newsmax, 1 877 639 7629. Let's welcome back the YouTube sensation, the host of the Viewer's View, Diamond and Silk. And ladies, does it surprise you that the number two spot has become the number one topic of conversation when it comes to Donald Trump's candidacy? Well, absolutely. They keep worrying about who he's going to pick, who he's going to pick. Listen, Donald Trump is a brilliant man. He is very smart. And I think he's going to pick the best running mate, the best uh, person VP uh, pick that you can ever dream of. It's going to be perfect. We we don't have anything to worry about. He got this. Well, and against uh, that very confident assertion from Diamond and Silk. Let's get back to the phones at one eight seven seven Newsmax to North Manchester, Indiana for Michelle. Michelle, you've got an idea on who you'd like to see as Mr. Trump's running mate. How about Colonel Allen West? Colonel West. He is a very capable man. You've got military and you've got somebody who has been in Congress. Yeah, he was there for a term, and uh, he is one of these gentlemen who uh, made a contribution, certainly, in the Army, then as a contractor going back into harm's way, as someone who protected his men in his command. It was not without controversy, but as we all know, you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Colonel Allen West, Diamond and Silk, what say you to the suggestion from Michelle? Listen, I know exactly who she's talking about. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, it's up to Donald. I think he would be do phenomenal. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's totally up to Donald Trump. It's his choice. As long as they balance him, I'm fine with whoever Donald Trump picks. Uh, let's go back to the phones. Out to Kelso, Washington. That's where Rocky has been waiting patiently. Rocky, welcome to Newsmax Prime. Rocky, do we have you? Go right ahead, sir. Uh, first of all, it's not a sir, it's a girl. I apologize, Rocky. Bad and assumption all, on my part. Disney. Forgive me. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's a common mistake. I'd like Newt Gingrich. I think he'd be a great vice president. I think he's got the, the political gravitas. He's got the experience. He'll work both sides, and he'll fill in where Trump needs it. And I think it'd be a great ticket. Well, Rocky, I got to tell you, I agree with you. Of course, I make no bones about it. I got to work with Newt in Washington and Diamond and Silk. And again, apologies to Rocky. Terrible assumption to just assume the name Rocky always goes with a guy. We now know a very nice feminine Rocky from Kelso, (laughs) Washington. But the point she makes is one that I don't want to lose in my mistaking uh, just who had that nickname. And that is that Newt was a guy when he became the first Republican speaker in 40 years. We ran on that contract with America. We promised we would bring all of those items up in the first 100 days of the new Congress. We got that done. And despite a lot of criticism and a lot of negative advertising that ironically, our friend and uh, Newsmax TV political analyst Dick Morris was putting together at the behest of, uh, of President Bill Clinton Newt was very successful. And to the extent he knows the machinery of government, but he does not come off as an establishment maven. It's kind of the combination of Mr. Inside and Mr. Outside in one person. Wow. That's it. Thank you for that assessment. Mm -hmm. But like we said, it is totally (laughs) up to Donald J. Trump. Yeah. You know, Newt will be a good pick. Mm -hmm. You know, I was looking at Chris Christie. Mm -hmm. I mean, any, any of them. Listen, I just want to make sure that they balance Donald Trump and they have his back on everything, everything, on every level. And when they get to that White House, we can get some things done. And they need to have his back at all times. Not someone that's going to stab him in his back. Right. That, to be candid, was one of the concerns Dick Morris had earlier tonight. But uh, I appreciate your kind words about my assessment. And let me echo that in terms of your analysis, because basically you're saying this to us. The number two pick is exactly that, number two. Sure, it's important, but it's not a deal maker or a deal breaker. People go into the booth to vote for the presidential nominee. 
and very seldom does the vice presidential nominee make a key difference in the race. Speaking of the presumptive GOP nominee, we heard a bit of this earlier tonight, but it's worth repeating. Donald Trump on the stump earlier this evening in Cincinnati. We're tired of incompetent people. We're tired of incompetent leadership and incompetent people. And Hillary Clinton, I said, bad judgment. She's incompetent, okay? She's incompetent. The only good thing she's ever done is get out of trouble when anybody else would have been in jail by now. That's the only thing that I've ever seen her do that was a great job. I got to give her credit. Well, he might want to say not a great thing, but a clever thing, skating out of that problem. Uh, Similar language to last night, uh, ladies. Did we hear much the same from Donald Trump talking about Hillary last night in Raleigh as we did tonight? He talked about crooked Hillary and her crookedness and how this system is rigged. And the fact that Bill Clinton gets on an airplane with the attorney general, you know, from where we from, we call that kickback, patty whack, give a dog a bone. That's right. So who gave who a bone not to indict Hillary Clinton? That's right. So Donald Trump is just calling it like he said, and That's we like love that. And if Mr. Trump would have did half of what Hillary Clinton did, he would be under the jailhouse, uh-huh. and they would have threw away the key. That's right. The media would keep spinning it and spinning it and spinning it, but That's you don't right. see them really spinning it on Hillary Clinton. But mm-hmm. you know what? Hillary Clinton, she needs to, listen, if Martha Stewart can go to jail for lying to the FBI, that's right. Hillary Clinton lied to the FBI, she needs to be jailed for that. Bye-bye. All right, but before we say bye-bye, one caller we need to get to from Salt Lake City, Utah. Let's welcome Ron to Newsmax Prime. Hiya, Ron. How are you tonight? Doing fine, Ron. I understand you have an interesting selection for vice president. How about diamond and silk? They're very sensitive. They are very truthful. How about that for a starter? Well, you know, Ron, uh, we remember back in 1980, there was talk of a co-presidency, Ronald Reagan and former President Ford on the same ticket. That did not come to fruition. But of course, in 1992, Bill and Hillary campaigned about a co-presidency. So if if they're talking about a co-presidency, a co-vice presidency, Ron is suggesting, ladies in 30 seconds, would you serve if Donald Trump calls on you? (laughs) Only if Donald Trump calls on us. But if he don't, I wouldn't serve anything, no. but I would talk about everybody that is serving. That's right. That's right. I would only do it if Donald Trump needed us. That's only right. if he needed and us. And we would do a darn good job. Oh, yes. Yes. All right, co-vice presidents. I, we might have to kind of reinterpret the Constitution, but an intriguing nomination from Ron via Salt Lake City. And as always, the intriguing duo of Diamond and Silk joining us via Skype from North Carolina. Ladies, till next time. Thanks so much for your significant contribution on this expanded edition of Newsmax Prime. Now, to you at home, thank you for hanging in with us over the last two hours. We'll see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern and again at 8 Pacific. Stay brave, stay free, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.